Hey guys, Brandon here, and today we're going to be talking about changing the oil in your lower unit. This is a Mercury outboard, a 90s model. It's a 175, um, where we have the drain and the vent here on the side. Um, I'm also, if you have water in your engine oil, there don't panic. There's a couple little spots you can check and fix very easily to get that water out. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so like I said, this is a 90s motor, so you're, you're draining your vent here on the side. If you have a four stroke or some of the newer motors, you take the prop off and the drain and the, and the vent are in there. Works the same, if they're just in a different location. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is lift the motor up a little bit so that oil runs down to the head here and right at the screw um, so we can drain it out. So if it's a flathead screwdriver on most of these old ones. You can see right here, it's not really coming out very fast. So that's what your vent's for. So you're just gonna take that and open that all the way up. I'll move this over here so I don't lose it. We can take that one all the way out. And as you can see, that oil really starts to drain out now. And we're gonna leave, let that go to pretty much where it's just a steady drip. So one thing you may notice here is um, a little bit, which is common, especially in the older motors, a little bit of this, um, these fibers, these metal fibers stuck to this is magnetic. That's the reason they're stuck there. They stick to that so um, they don't get trapped in your oil. And that's another reason you want to change the oil to get these out. Um, I'm not noticing any water in my oil, um, so that's good. But um, we, won't have to we won't have to replace any seals, but I'll show you how to do that just in case. Okay, while we're letting this kind of finish out, which is just about done, but if you, I'm not noticing any water in mine, but if you see any milkiness in it, that, that's water. And that's what can happen is basically, the, um, it's pretty common, but uh, water can get in your lower unit oil. And how it does that is there's actually rings, which this is just newly replaced, so I'm not going to pull it out here, but they, there's uh, rings in here, or seals, uh, I guess you would say, on each each one. And if, if you, those seals are cracked or just bad or not in there, then obviously water is going to get into your lower unit oil. And that's why you're seeing that. Another place they can get in, which is more common, is actually through your prop. If you've got a lot of fishing line wrapped around your prop, um, that cuts into that seal and that can let water leak into your lower unit oil. So it's a good thing to take this off as well when you're doing this and check it for fishing line, check that seal that's in there and replace that if need be. Okay, next you want to get um, your quart of oil. Um, you make sure you get the gear lube oil. If you're not sure, look it up, look your motor up, and it'll tell you. But also you need to get this simple cheap kit. I can leave descriptions below to all this, but this is a little pump kit that you're actually going to put in the bottom here with, it, with where this oil is coming out. Screw that in. So now all you're going to do is you're going to pump this and all you're doing, you're filling this bottom, this unit, lower unit, this head full of oil and that oil is going to come up. And once it starts coming out this vent, that's when you know you're done. Vent one in first, stop that flow. Stop that flow. Quickly undo this. Put that screw back in without losing much oil. Hand tighten it pretty good. Both of them. Good and tight, and then obviously. Clean up your mess as best you can and properly dispose of your oil. All right, guys, that's it. You want to do this at least once a year. I like to do it in the fall, like I said, just because we're coming up on a cold season. If there's any water in that lower unit, you want to get that water out, replace those seals if need be, and get you back on the water and keep this engine running good. So as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.